Hi there, uh, in this video I'm going to set up the Touch DRO on my CSX2P Mini Mill. So this is the uh, Bluetooth module that Adam gave me and uh, it's got an Arduino Nano on it and uh, that's the little Bluetooth device there and um, it's got uh, some um, mini USB ports on here or connectors. Now um, as I explained in my opening video um, my scales have got micro USB connectors so I'm having to use these connectors to convert uh, from micro to mini. Now I've not got a proper box to put this in um, but to get me up and running what I thought I'd do is um, use one of these sort of like um, cable connecting boxes and I've just put some padding in and sort of my idea uh, on this is to uh, open up that hole there so I can line up the power it's not a bad fit actually and pack this out put this other connector on here Plenty of packing in. Not that it's overly tight, but stop it from sloshing about. And then put the top on. So I've cut a hole in the top, and I think it will go that way around. Well, that's sort of okay. I can see the power socket there. Um, now the power is um, it's five volt. Now, if anybody wants any um, circuit diagrams or any information on this board that Adam built, uh, just email me. At learning turning at btinternet.com and uh, I'll send you the information I've got uh, that Adam sent me and if you have any queries um, if you just email me back and uh, I'll get in touch with Adam to see whether or not he can uh, he can answer them um, so that's essentially the Bluetooth device so all I need to do now is to connect up uh, the scales Okay, so uh, I've uh, connected the scales to the uh, Bluetooth device and uh, to be honest, I've just guessed uh, what to connect up to where, uh, so it could be wrong. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see how we get on. Now, um, the tablet is a, a Lenovo Tab E7 and um, it's, it's not the best tablet in the world. Um, by any stretch of the imagination um, but it is functional and um, it, it works really well for this type of application so the tablet is actually switched on so if I come over here
and um, I've already installed the uh, Touch DRO application which is there. However, before we fire that up we need to set the tablet so it can see the Bluetooth device. So if you go into settings and connect to devices, Bluetooth, so pair a new device and it's found the AEL DRO which is the Bluetooth device that we need to connect to. If we select that and it's asking us for the pin. Now the pin is one, two, three, four. Okay. Pairing. So it's found it. So Bluetooth is running. So if we come out of that go into the touch DRO application we can see here that um, it's actually uh, connected um, that's probably because I'd, I'd previously been in this application but if we disconnect it um, that's how it would probably come up initially um, so touch DRO disconnected just hit connect select the AEL DRO and there you are so if I now um, turn the X axis dial luckily I must have connected it to the right connection um, the X display is changing now if, if I move the Y axis see if that changes and again lucky that's correct and if I move the head down so the Z axis so that's working as well so uh, that's looking pretty good so what I need to do now is calibrate it um, now I have actually got um, an old uh, Samsung um, sort of holder for a car um, for a tablet, a Samsung tablet and I've actually put that up there on the shelf so I think what I'll do is I'll uh, put this tablet in there and uh, then we'll look at uh, doing the configuration i.e. the calibration so to get the touch DRO to work correctly with these scales you've got to change something called an axis CPI and for the Archeodo um, trade scales you need to set the number to be 2540 initially so you go into settings so these three dots up here settings and then it goes on its side which is a bit annoying axis CPI set the X axis CPI so we're on its side here at the moment but I'm sure we can manage 2540 2540 tick ok presumably there's a y axis CPI yeah, Y axis CPI two five four zero tick okay and there'll be a Z axis CPI two five four zero tick okay now when I turn the um, y axis dial, so if I could just come out of here so if I turn the y axis dial um, clockwise 
it increments. Now if I turn the x-axis dial clockwise it decreases. So I think I need to change the setting for the x-axis so it reverses that. I'm guessing it's somewhere in here. So we're going to settings again. And the x-axis we've got invert readout. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what we do. Come out of there. Turn it right. So if we go clockwise, yeah, it increases. Don't know why it jumped like that. Anyway, so if you set it to zero, so that's clockwise on the X, clockwise on the Y, and down on the Z. So I'm guessing that's uh, that's looking good so far. So what I need to do is to put a dial gauge on the x-axis and check uh, to see whether the reading um, is the same as my dial gauge. So I've just set a dial gauge up down there. Set that to zero. So if I set everything to zero, and if I now, uh, if I look at my dial gauge here, and move this table back by hundred thou Wow! That's spot on! Perfect! So I'll do it again Dial gauge going round to zero. Wow! Oh, I'm happy with that. Really happy with that. That's fantastic. So I'll do the same checks on the um, Y and Z axis, uh, but I'm ever so impressed now. Okay, so to uh, check out the uh, Y axis. Um, I've zeroized all the points, in fact you can just go into each individual one and set to zero. And if we look at the gauge, that's on zero. So now, if I um, move the table out, Should be going negative. About it, and I was flicking between ninety nine and a hundred, so I move it out just a touch more. Stable. So that's that's spot on. Very happy with that. So now to check the uh, Z axis. So I've zeroized the Z axis. Look at the gauge on the Z axis. Now using the fine feed, I'll turn it 100 thou. Fantastic.
Well, I must say, I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, the Touch DRO seems to be ever so accurate from the basic checks I've, I've carried out. And I thought I might have had some issues in terms of how I bolted the scales to uh, to the mill, but everything seems to be absolutely spot on. Now, I can't thank Adam enough for giving me that um, uh, Bluetooth controller. Uh, it saved me a boatload of time and effort. Um, if anybody fancies somebody going making one, um, if you email me at learningturning at btinternet.com, I can send you the information that um, Adam provided me with. Um, alternatively, if uh, you don't fancy making the Bluetooth controller yourself, then um, I think you can uh, buy one. I think they call it a Blue DRO and they're about £100. Um, but I am absolutely delighted and I'm sure that this will make my life a lot easier. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the series and I hope some of you have a go at uh, installing Touch DRO. So hope to see you later.